All right, so I guess you're going to get a guided tour today. I'm walking around the perimeter of Nalchik and heading into the center. Probably, if I had to guess, seven or ten kilometers, four to five miles, well, three to four miles, depending on how you do the math. Um, in the distance there are some of those newly constructed buildings that I was showing before. This is, uh, again, Lennon Street. And the building in the distance there is uh, Severo Rafasia. I have no idea what that means. So again, we're going sort of from the outskirts of Nalchik into the city center. It's actually, well, what's this over here? This is kind of interesting. There's not a lot of really old structures in Nalchik. There are, in, in the city itself, there are structures that go back for maybe about 100 years or so. And Nalchik was only founded in the 17 or 1800s. So something like this, I mean, this looks old. I have no idea what it is. If I had to guess, it may have been the foundation of a fortress at some point in the past. I'm just guessing. So what do we see here? There's sort of a, maybe this was a turret. If uh, I had to say, this is probably, what is that? 10 meters? No, seven meters in diameter. If I walk over here, you can see a little foundation of something else at some point in the past. This is kind of neat. I don't think I've seen anything like this yet. And this is actually all part of a more modern building. Now, I don't know if this, actually this little wall here looks like it's more modern. At least up close it does. And so you'll see a lot of this sort of thing here in Nalchik. So what you're looking at right now is probably a Soviet-era building. It's in, you know, I don't want to say it's in disregard, but it's not super well-maintained. It's showing its age. Over here is a gun turret, probably something to co commemorate World War II. It's possible that being this a uh, this was a former government building, I'm just guessing. So they might have put a weapon outside to commemorate it. Looks like at some point someone was thinking about doing some kind of construction here and then thought better of it. I have no idea. So this is what's strange about the city. You'll see something like this, and then not even 30 meters away, you'll see something that's brand new construction. And then all over the place you'll actually see something that's sort of a mix of the two where it's uh, an older building that probably once was in disrepair, where maybe the first floor has been converted into a pretty trendy restaurant or boutique where you can buy clothing, things like that. But the rest of the building really hasn't been improved. Um, you know, I, I've said this in other videos, I've been around Eastern Europe a little bit, and so it's actually not, not dissimilar to what I see around Eastern Europe in general. As I come up over here, here you'll see an example. It looks like somebody is rehabbing an old building because this may be hard to see. On the right-hand side, you'll see, uh, I don't know, an older structure. And right to the left of it, built into it, you'll see a, a tower with a blue top. Well, the building on the right looks like it's an older building, and the building on the left looks like it's a newer building. So I would imagine that they're retrofitting the building and upgrading the whole new structure. I have no idea what this is. There are no real professional buildings in the city. So if I had to guess, this is either going to be the first professional building or a hotel. Most likely a hotel. So again, this is now Landon Street. I'm going to fade out and fade back in.